Yo guys, I'm Nick from Produce School and welcome back to a brand new video. In this video I'm going to show you 10 tips about making an effective build up. Enjoy! First tip I'm going to give you is using Endless Smile. It is a VST that looks a lot like Sausage Fattener because it has the same creators. And a small is designed for you to make big sounding buildups in a very simple way. The plugin looks simple and it's really easy to use. It has a lot of different presets that all have their unique vibe. For example, a big reverb effect or a weight delay. You can easily move the knob and then create an automation clip by using tools on the left top of your screen tools last tweaked and then select create automation clip and the, the automation clip will automatically appear on your screen shape the automation clip something like this and then you will get this sound <laughs> Let's move on to the next tip. My next tip is using one note that plays in the whole second part of your buildup and this will really create like a feeling for the listeners that there's something big coming together with a pitch automation which I will show you guys later. Now I will demonstrate what I mean with using one note. <laughs> If you listen to EDM a lot, you will hear this is a very, very common thing. Lots of uh, producers use this trick. So it's very simple to do, but it's yet super effective and will make a huge difference in your build up. The next tip I'm going to give you guys is to use pitch automations. Together with the one note trick I explained to you before, this will really sound very nice and I'm just going to show you how to do it and how it sounds. In this case I'm using Serum where you should go to the left bottom of your VST where you see for example the pitch band range and a mod wheel. Set the pitch band rate to 12 because that equals to a full octave and we want the, like, the notes to go up a full octave so set that to 12 and then move the mod wheel around a little bit and then go to tools, last tweaked and create an automation clip. Together with the endless small automation it will sound like this. The next tip is using filters. I added a little bass and we are going to apply filters on the bass and the leads. For the leads, select the first preset in the mastering row and create a high pass filter by making an automation clip of this right little knob on the right of your parametric EQ2. In the beginning of the build up you should leave out some of the high frequencies and then slowly towards the drop you should filter in more of the high frequencies till the end of the build up where all the high frequencies are there. For the bass you should do exactly the same, only the knob is different. Now automate the left little button and not the right one because you want a low pass filter for the bass and not a high pass filter. Next tip is to use FX and drums, which quite speaks for itself, but it's really important to mention that you need to be unique with this because most of the time your uplifters or fills will come out of sample packs everyone has. So try to be a little bit unique. 
for example i made a pitch automation on my drum fill and a panning automation on my uplifter which would just make it sound a little bit different than what everybody else is doing with that sound The next tip I'm going to give you is probably the most simple trick of all the tricks I gave you. The trick is to use certain stops between the first and the second part of your build up. It really creates a moment that people think like what is happening and then there is the second part of the build up coming up with even more things going on and you can drive people crazy with that. And I'm going to demonstrate how to do that. Another tip is to use weird sounds, for example vocal effects, which I use in this case, and I put a bit crusher, endless smile and a filter on it, and it sounds like this. The sound on its own sounds really weird but with the rest of the build up it just fills things up and that's really nice. I will show you the end result right now. <laughs> If you are searching for samples and presets head over to the link in the description. We have a lot of packs released and there is a lot more coming so you need to stay tuned for that. For now I want to thank you guys for watching and I see you guys next time.